Hey guys, welcome back to our Django tutorial. So in this one, we're gonna be starting to register a user. So apparently we don't have a way for user to sign up or sign into our application. So let's go ahead and work on that. So before we get started, I want to mention that I won't be focusing on creating the HTML of this or the CSS, because that's not the point. We just want to focus on like Django features since I already assume you guys know CSS and HTML. So also for the CSS, you will see a lot of classes that have to do with semantic. So those classes are coming from semantic UI component and uh, if you wanted to use like a card we would be doing it in this kind of way so if you ever feel puzzled about a class and you want to know more about it just come in the semantic UI docs then you will see the components it ships with so for us to get started we want to actually have a form here that the user can click we're gonna go to uh, register register template so over here I'm going to repress everything in here with uh, some HTML then we can go over it so if I save this and come back to the site and refresh is that we basically have a form that says to do's registration and then it has like this input so to work over it you will see that up here we inherit from the partial from the base partial so the base partial you already know it basically adds things like semantic ui and also adds ways for us to send a title then it includes the header which is this one then down here it allows us to enter our custom ui which is now this so in here you see that we have basically a grid a column inside and then inside we have the form so the form is pretty simple we only have the inputs and then the icons so for the inputs one of the most important things you need to keep track to note is each input has a name attribute so these name attributes are pretty important because when we submit this form we use the name attributes to access the data that the user sends us that's why you see we have the name for the username the name for the email the name for the password and also we want to confirm a user's password also we have a submit button that the user is going to be used to, that the user is going to be using to submit our form so if you want to use this layout you can basically copy it out or you can look into look you can look in the github repo and you copy out the template okay so this is how it is so first off what we need to do is we need to handle this form submission now notice that our form now has a post method and then it's going to be posting to the current view the view with the url name of register so we had configured that already so that is in the authentication then urls so you see we have register here so let's go to the view so right now we are only handling the gate so every time the user comes here we send them the register html template so we want to handle when a user submits the form so when they come here and click submit okay so to handle that we want to have an if so want to if request dot method equals post so if that's the case then we want to go ahead and pick out the email the username and the two passwords here so we can do email equals request post get email then let's also get the username also let's go ahead and get the password like this let's get another password so it's gonna be password 2 like that so these are the names like i said these are the names that are here so down here you see this is password 2 and then this is password then this is email this is username so this will be giving us the data that the user sends to from the form so if we wanted to do some validations here we can maybe check let's add something about the password so we can check like the password length so if len password let's check if it's if it's less than six so we can say less than six then now we can maybe send a message to the user so here we can do something like messages you guys already know about the messages framework so let's import messages here so from django contrib import messages so here we can say messages add message Remember now this one is gonna be an error because we passed the request first. Then here we can say messages dot error. Okay, then the text. We can say password should be at least six characters. So as we do these validations, we want at any point in time to know if we have an error that from what the user has submitted so that we can know what to do so we don't want to create a user when we have any error so i'm going to come over here then i'm going to set up the context so 
so here I'm going to set up a context so context here I'm going to have a property called has error so the value is gonna start out as false so every time we have an error then we want to update it so here since we have this error here we can come in and say context then we want has error since we already know it is there then we set it to true okay like that so then another thing we want to do is we want to compare the passwords so we want to make sure the passwords that the user enters are, are the same so i'm going to duplicate this check here so we can say password is equal to password2 so we want to check if it is not equal so to check if it's not equal we can do is not equal then we can say passwords password mismatch so also we update if we have an error to make sure that the current value in the has error is updated so another thing i want to do is whenever a user sends us an email before we save it we need first validate if it's an email so for us to quickly validate an email i'm going to quickly pause this server and install a package called validate mail so we're gonna say pip install validate email validate underscore email okay so that's gonna install the package now let's run back our server then here Let's import validate email. So from validate email, import validate email. I believe that's how it's called. We also need to do a check to check if the, the email is valid. So we're gonna go here, do another check, make sure we have the correct indentation. So here we'll check if not valid email. So this text in an email and it returns us a true or false depending on if this was true or false so if it's false then we want to say enter a valid email address all right then i believe that's it we also want to make sure that the user is supplying a username so here we can check if if we have if we don't have the username which we can do from if not username then we say please username is required Okay, so now that we are done with this, we want to make sure that the user doesn't sign up with a username that's already taken. So for us to be able to check that, we can do if, then here, we need to use the model to query our database. So from our models, so from dot models, import user. So down here, we can say if user dot objects dot filter username equals username exists. So if it exists, then we want to tell the user this username is taken please choose another another one so you can say username is taken choose another one all right we want to do the same thing for the password so i'm gonna copy for the email so i'm gonna copy this and also have a similar check so here we will check email equals email then we can say email is taken this means that we have handled all our validations the user isn't submitting data that we don't like so here what we want to do is we want to be able to create this user or if we have any issues we want to be rendering the, this template again so here we can check this value we created in the context so we can check if context then we want to check has error so if this is true so instead of us doing is equal to true it's not needed since we are already checking a true a boolean value so we can check if this is true this is what it means if we wanted to check the difference we would check we would say if not so that would check if it's false but i want to check if it is true so if it is true then we just want to return this we just want to return to render this again so now since we are already adding the messages they will be able to show in the template but otherwise then we want to go ahead and create the user so to create a user we're gonna say user equals user that's the model then we want to say objects then we want to call create user like this so when you call create user you see text in the username as a must so you can say username equals username then let's pass in the email so you can say email equals email all right then we need to set the user's password here after we create the user so you can say user let's set underscore password then we'll be setting the password that they entered in the field remember we've checked it remember we got it 
then we check if it is less than six characters then we also check if it is equal to the the corresponding confirmed password so okay so now we can go ahead and create a user knowing that we validated properly so after setting the password we want to call save so here we can say user dot save so when we save then we can maybe show another message a success message and maybe take a user to the login so then i'm gonna come over here we want to do messages dot add this one is gonna be a success one then we can say account created you can now log in and this should be one end of course okay so i believe now we can test it out and see where we are with all this so i'm gonna save and come back to the site then i'll refresh and uh, if i click submit you see we get all these errors showing up on the screen okay so let's fill in the username so if we say christ truly then then the username is okay if we submit you see that now the password is the one which had an issue so let's go ahead and enter this all this information so that's christ to christ at gmail.com let's enter the password then let's enter the password that does not really exist so if we submit you see that we get the password mismatch but we have a problem guys the problem is we are losing the data that we had put in the form even when the issue we had was on the passwords so to fix that we want to go to we want to go here and get everything that the user is sending from the form and send them back to the team to the context so here what we'll do is we'll say we're gonna have a key called data so this is gonna be equal to request dot post so post will give us all the things that the user had sent so now if we go to the template here so for the username if you want to persist the previous username we want to set value so when you set value then now we can use these literals to put their content and now we can get this from data then it's going to be data. so data dot username okay like this so now if you come back to the site fresh let's enter this submit we are still losing it let's make sure we are saving it then in the views so in the views that's here we need to make sure we have we have request.post in data then down here when we render this template we want to make sure we are sending that context so context all right so if you come back here refresh let's go ahead and type something click send you see we get the errors but the name is persisted so let's do the same thing for the email the passwords we will leave them for the user to recomplete them so we can come back here and also add a value for the let's get it for the email all right so now if we came here and entered another email then let's enter the password i'm going to enter the password that don't match so if i click submit you see we get password mismatch and these are really kept so let's enter password that match so password password if we click submit you see account was created you can now log in but we won't show this message on the we won't show this message on the login page and not here but to check if our validation for the username and the email uniqueness is is enforced we are going to try to submit using the same user so let's do this if i click submit you see we get email is taken username is taken okay so which is good which is what we want so let me create another user here that is not taken submit you see everything is good so now what i want to do is i want to redirect to the login page after we finish this so one thing i've noticed is here in the url we need to have a slash here in our URL configuration. So we're gonna go to our main application routing. So that's gonna be here. Then after auth, we need to put a, a slash there. Okay, so come back over here. That's not gonna be there anymore because we changed it. But now if we come here, you see that now auth is there. So after we finish the, the registration, we want to redirect to the login. So here you can say, return actually there's a there's a function called redirect then we can redirect the login we need to import this from shortcuts so we can import from render and also redirect so let's try again let's come back over here let's put test user let's say test sender let's put the password let's 
put another one and submit and you see that now we come over here so the message is not being shown here in the login that's because we have not included our, our messages template tags inside the login so let's quickly do that because so what we want to do is we want to have this partial and in the login we want to make sure that we have it somewhere so let me put it over here and now if we come back here we said the message is there okay so that's gonna do it for now in the next one we are going to be now logging in a user and yeah so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video thanks for watching bye